Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he tells us in the Quran to be wary of following the majority. We're following what everybody else is doing, right? He says that if you were to follow the majority of people, then you would be led astray, right? They're only following their assumptions or their conjecture, um, and they don't really know. They're just guessing. And sure enough, that's the reality that we see. We look around us, you know, if you went to high school, you went to public school, or you went to college, and where you're at your work, you know, you just look around you and count, you know, how many people, their lives are just sort of consumption, entertainment, and that's it. You know, that's kind of the, the main engine in their in their life. They're living, they're working for the weekend, right? And then they get to the weekend and it's just, you know, get trashed and watch a Netflix series and then rinse and repeat, come back to work the next week, right? So are these people that you should be taking as your role models? Are these people that you should be taking as people that you're going to let yourself be influenced by or follow them online and, you know, as an influencer, you know, Twitter and Instagram and all the rest of it and, you know, imitate their style of dress and their style of talking and their style of sort of what their life is about. Of course not. That's ridiculous. Right? These people need to be influenced by you. Uh, somebody who's more principled, somebody who's living for the right things, somebody who's trying to live a good virtuous life and increase their capacity for virtuous action and develop themselves along along lines of morality and truth. Right. So uh, we should be wary. Right. And that's not to say that the majority is always wrong. Like, that's not true because we have uh, within fiqh, for example, if you lessen the population, right, uh, you're talking about among the ulama right, then the majority opinion, you know, is something that has weight, right? And obviously, within Islam, the ijma, right, the consensus of, uh, of scholars, qualified scholars has weight, right? But if you're talking just about no barriers, everybody who's around, then you have to realize that the nature of the human soul is that people are going to be led by their desires, and they're going to have a conflict of interest, and they're going to support the things that kind of, you know, are in the, the service of their nefs. And so you have to be really, really wary and really, really cautious when you find yourself um, just doing what everybody else is doing. It's usually not, usually not a good course of action.